and welcome to the Week 6 GAC Rewind. I'm Chase Hartzell. Number 5 Washita scored touchdowns on its first nine possessions on its way to a 63-24 win over Southwestern Oklahoma State. After allowing scores on the first three Bulldog possessions, the Washita defense came up with five straight stops midway through the game. Washita led 42-17 at halftime and added 21 third-quarter points. Running back T.J. Cole rushed for 129 yards and three touchdowns as he became the sixth player in school history to rush for 3,000 career yards. Quarterback Riley Harms was 12 of 13 for 197 yards and had two touchdowns through the air. Harms also rushed for 81 yards, including this 72-yard touchdown run that stretched the Washita lead in the first half. Here's Rex Nelson on the Washita Football Network. So from the 28, let's see if they go back to the ground and Givens now, who is set to the left of his quarterback. Now they fake to him. They're going to run the quarterback draw. Good running room, 35, 40, 45, 50. He's going to go to the house, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No flags down. Riley Harms, the quarterback, has just gone 72 yards, touchdown, Washington. Number 12, Harding continued to have success with its ground game, scoring six rushing touchdowns in a 56-28 win at Southern Nazarene. The Bisons also threw for a season-high 161 yards as quarterback Cole Keelan was 6-7 of seven passing with one touchdown. Harding led 35-14 to 14 at halftime and used a 14-0 third quarter to put the game away. This 54-yard scamper by slot back Easton Miller with 7.20 to go in the game provided the final score in the win. Here's Billy Morgan on the Harding Sports Network. And now this time give Miller again. He's at midfield. He's free. Inside the 30. Inside the 20. The 15. The 10. The 5. Touchdown. Harding. Easton Miller goes 59 yards. The Bison strike quickly and drop the hammer with 7.20 left here in the fourth quarter and lead it 55 to 21. East Central won its fourth straight game with a 31 to 10 victory over Henderson State after the Rays took their first and what would be their only lead of the game at 7-6 with 41 seconds to go in the second quarter. East Central marched 75 yards down the field in five plays using only 24 seconds to retake the lead right before halftime. In the final play of the first half, Kenny Hearns here threw a 20-yard touchdown pass to Josh Little to give the Tigers the lead. Here's that play from Mike Manos of xfactorradio.net. The Tigers trying to get a score before halftime to get back on top. And it has become a theme this year to score late in quarters. To the far side, down to the corner. Little's got it at the one-yard line. In for the touchdown, Tigers. Little from 20 yards out. He had to turn completely around to get that ball and got himself the last extra foot or two into the end zone. And the Tigers score with 17 seconds to go in the first half. Leading 14 to 10 at the end of the third quarter, East Central scored 17 fourth quarter points to pull away from Henderson State. Southeastern Oklahoma State running back DeAndre Wheeler turned in a career day on the ground with 139 yards and three touchdowns as Southeastern survived a late rally to top Southern Arkansas 35-32. The Savage Storm rushed for a season-high 195 yards on the ground and got 236 yards through the air from quarterback Dalton Hatley. Southern Arkansas made a furious attempt at a rally, scoring 22 points in the last 249 of the game. The run wasn't enough thanks in part to Wheeler's third touchdown of the game that gave Southeastern a 35-10 lead with 2.51 left in the game. Here's Jay Lindley with the Southeastern Sports Network. Second down and five. The tenth play of the drive. Wheeler to the left of Hatley, back to Wheeler. Wheeler getting a little push from his offensive line, breaks a tackle at the five, going toward the end zone. He's in. The trifecta for Wheeler in the storm lead 34 to 10 with 2.51 play here in the fourth. Northwestern Oklahoma State picked up its first win of the season in an exciting 26 to 23 win at UAM. Northwestern led after the third quarter 26 to 9, but UAM cut the lead to three points with two touchdowns in the fourth quarter and had a chance to tie the game. The Rangers blocked a UAM field goal attempt with 1.15 left in the fourth quarter and ran out the clock to secure the win. Here's that call from Matt Adair on Classic Hits 105.7 KRDR. Marchant runs back out onto the field late. Field goal opportunity to tie the game. It's blocked! The Rangers come up with a blocked field goal. It was blocked, are you kidding me? No good, no good blocked field goal. The Rangers can ice it. 
Arkansas Tech withstood an Oklahoma Baptist first half rally and pulled away in the second half for a 34-13 win. Arkansas Tech had seen its lead dwindle from 21 to nothing to 21 to 13 during the second quarter, and Oklahoma Baptist was looking for more points right before halftime until this stop by ATU's Jordan Furch. Here's Sam Strasner with that call on KCJC. On fourth and one, they're going to try to draw the Wonder Boys offside. No such luck there. Now the play clock is at 14. Will they snap it, or will they allow the play clock to expire and then punt it? Wolf calls for the football. They're going for it on fourth and one. They throw complete to the far side, and the Wonder Boys have it stopped. They've got it stopped short of the line to gain, and the Wonder Boys are going to get the football deep in Oklahoma Baptist territory with 26 seconds to go in the half. The Bison go for it on fourth and one, and they come up empty. The gamble does not pay off. They come up short of the line to gain, and it'll be first and ten Wonder Boys at the Oklahoma Baptist 33-yard line and an opportunity for the Wonder Boys to seize the momentum right before the intermission. Jesus Zumbo made a 36-yard field goal on the final play of the half, and the Wonder Boys cruised to a 34-13 victory. It's now time to turn our attention to Week 7 in the GAC. Arkansas Monticello at Washita is set for a 1 o'clock kickoff. Three games will kick off at 2 o'clock, including Southern Arkansas at Arkansas Tech, Henderson State at Harding, and Southeastern Oklahoma State at Northwestern Oklahoma State. Southern Nazarene and Southwestern Oklahoma State will kick off at 5.30, and East Central at Oklahoma Baptist will round things out with a 6 p.m. kickoff. This has been the Week 6 GAC Rewind. I'm Chase Hartzell.